Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a lovely Spanish opening game. This is the game between Benjafield and Wipel, played in Sydney, Australia, in 1938. Game started with e4. Black played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and like I said, Spanish opening. Black continued with knight to e7, knight from g to e7. This is not the most popular opening nowadays. Knight to c3 was played. h6, and now if bishop takes, then black is okay. But bishop didn't take. White played bishop to a4, b5, bishop to b3, and now h6 was played. The idea is perhaps to stop the knight from coming to g5 d4 d6 a4 was played pawn is attacking pawn on b5 black played b4 knight is under attack where will you play the knight now knight to d5 is the best move that was played in the game and black played bishop to g4 and this is the pin this is a relative pin. If king was on d1, that would be absolute pin. Then it would not be legally possible to move the knight. We have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move. You can pause this video for a moment and you can try to find that killer move in this position. Okay, have you seen this? Knight captured the pawn on e5. What is the best continuation for black? The best is to take the knight with the pawn and after queen takes, knight takes, knight takes on e7, queen takes on e7, white would castle and the game would be about equal. However, black didn't take. He couldn't resist temptation because he can capture the queen and he didn't see what's coming because if king takes bishop then black is winning but this is not the move that the white had in mind when he sacrificed his queen what would you play now have you seen this tactic this is check black capture the knight and now check mate a very nice finish thank you for watching this video and I hope that you enjoyed it.